guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christy. I'm a homeschool mom to three. Today's video is going to be all about a few resources that we're going to be adding in come January. I feel like it's been so long since I filmed a video. We have had like this string of just sickness after sickness after sickness. And it has been extremely challenging just living day-to-day -day life and taking care of everybody. So obviously videos kind of went on the back burner. We haven't been doing like our Christmas school and everything that I planned for this month because we've all been so sick. First week in December, we did really well. And then we all got sick off and on. And so we literally only have done like a few days of our Christmas school plans. Yesterday, we played catch up on our devotional for Christmas, so that was really nice. So I feel like we can kind of continue with that. But oh my goodness, it has just been a month. Putting that aside, I wanted to share with you some of our exciting homeschool resources we're gonna be adding in in the month of January when we start back up with our normal school schedule. So for Isla, we have been using Purely Preschool quite often and we are actually going to be moving into the brand new winter unit in January. I thought January would be a really lovely month to start this. And I think this one looks so good. I know Rachel wrote it while she was actually in Michigan up north among the forest. And I'm excited about that because we actually live in Michigan. In this winter unit, there are four different topics that are covered. Snow, bears, ice, and evergreens. And I think all of this looks really, really fun. The book list looks super cute and the activities. And I'm really excited to use this with my preschooler. Purely Preschool is definitely a favorite of mine for her because she is a younger preschool. This program just fits her really well because it's so gentle and simple. And I love all of the activities, the life skills, the books that we do in these units. They are super affordable as well. I will leave Where'd You Learn That's website down below so you can check out Purely Preschool. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that we just just started using um, a little bit of the good and the beautiful level K with my kindergartner. And so we, this is like brand new. We've only done about four lessons in this curriculum so far. And so we are actually going to be like really making it a part of a routine for January. I'm still trying to see if it's going to be what we're going to use like going forward or not. I haven't quite decided. I thought I would try it out because it's free. It's free to print and download. And so yeah, what, what could go wrong with a free curriculum before I go and spend a bunch of money on a different phonics curriculum, kindergarten curriculum. Um, this is just something I wanted to try out. I've been kind of on the fence with what to do with him next. And so, yeah, we're just kind of using this. So far, he's really enjoying it. He likes it. Um, there's a lot of different activities in this course book that he does. And then what's really, really fun are these reading booster cards. So these are actually just like little cards that they're supposed to master and kind of practice like a few minutes every day. And he actually has gone all the way through card three, I think, already. Oh no, he's on card three. So he's done the first two cards and mastered reading all of the words on there. And so this is the next card he's going to be doing. And this is a little bit more complex. Um, there's more words on this and they're actually going into like simple sentences and stuff. And like you don't have to get through one of these cards every day by any means. It's just practicing them a few minutes every day before they do their lesson in the course book. So these are really fun. Um, I think it's a really simple way to get some reading practice in for him. And yeah, so we're really enjoying it so far. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's going to be like a long-term thing. I actually just printed the first 30 lessons of the course book and bound it um, because I wanted to, you know, try it out, see how it goes. And then if we end up really liking it after that, I'll print the rest of the course book. But yeah, so far it's going really well actually. So we'll see. 
Okay, so for January, I wanted to begin a new unit study and I wasn't sure which unit study I wanted to do. And then I kind of settled on this one. And if you recognize this folder, you've been here a while. This is the folder I use for Harbor and Sprout. So we are bringing back Harbor and Sprout in January. We took a little bit of a break from Harbor and Sprout and we're doing other kinds of unit studies, gather round, campfire curriculums, and that sort of thing. And so for the month of January, we're going to be diving into all things space and astronomy with Harbor and Sprout. This unit looks super fun. Um, I wanted to do space with both Emmett and Lacey, but I didn't want, I feel like with space, it can get like overwhelming really easily and quickly with kids um, because there's so much to learn about space and there's a lot of information. And I didn't want to go like super in depth because I don't want to go over my um, son's head. He's only six now. So I thought that this Harbor and Sprout astronomy unit looked really good for both of their ages. There's enough information and activities for my older daughter. I may actually pull in some other resources that go with the space theme for her to kind of expand it a little bit higher in some areas. And then I think that it's the right amount of information for my son. So we are actually going to be doing three subjects from this unit. So if you're not familiar with Harbor and Sprout, they have, um, quite a few different subjects that they cover in their units. They cover language arts, math, uh, history, geography, art, music, science, um, and nature study. And so for us, for this unit, we're gonna be doing three of them and we're gonna be focusing on the science and nature, which I think the nature looks very science-y when, you, when you're talking about space, it looks very science-y. So I feel like it's gonna be just like more science basically. So we're gonna be doing science and nature and then we're gonna also be adding in the history because I think that it's really fun to learn about like different astronomers in history, different scientific discoveries in history with space. I think that'll be really good. And yeah, so I'm really excited to jump into space. I have a lot of different ideas. There's some activities in here. And yeah, so we're gonna be doing that starting in January and I am so excited. So the last thing that's going to be new that we're adding in for the new year is I'm actually signing Lacey, my oldest daughter, up for an out school class and it's going to be a writing class. If you've been following our journey for a while, you know that Lacey is a very reluctant writer and so I've struggled in trying to, you know, find the best way to teach her how to write. So I thought that maybe an out school class would be a good fit for her because it's someone else doing the instruction and the teaching and somebody else doing the critiquing and I thought maybe that might be a good fit for her. We're gonna try it out and see. Um, I feel like sometimes with those subjects that you have a tougher time teaching your child, whether it's because they're reluctant in that area, they struggle in that area, maybe they exceed in that area and you're having a hard time teaching it. Whatever it may be, if it's something like that, I feel like outsourcing is always a great option. And without school, it's a very affordable, very customizable way to do that. So we have done out school classes in the past, but we've never done anything like this. So this writing class in particular is called a flex class. And so there's no actual live meetings where they have to be on video at a certain time during the day or anything like that. It's all done kind of at your own pace in a way. Um, and you can do it whatever time throughout the day that fits for you. There is a schedule of when things will be posted, but we can go on the website at any time that's convenient for us to do those. And so I like that aspect because to be honest, like live Zoom calls at particular times kind of stress me out. So I like the idea of a flex class. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. If it goes well, maybe we'll seek out some more writing classes. This writing class that she's going to be doing, I think is a four or six week class. I'm not, I forget what it is. But I think it's four weeks, but it's like every day for the whole week there's something going on. Um, and so yeah, I will link that class down below if you're interested in a writing class for your child. And yeah, so we'll see. I hope it goes well. As far as everything else going into 2023, it's all staying the same. We're still gonna be using Lightning Literature. We're still using Math UC. 
we're still using uh, slow down and art on our Friday so everything else is going to be kind of the same as my last update video that I did so if you watch that everything is pretty much staying the same as that so I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about some of the resources we're adding in for the new year. I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season with your family. I really, really, really pray that everybody is healthy in our house and in your house for the holidays. And I will see you guys in the new year. Bye.